So here we have wind bags. Of course, we're talking about air and wind and all this. These can actually be used for a number of different things. We can use them as a fort. I like to set up and build structures out of them. And they're basically just tubes of air. So you get a big bag, and I would say you can use about nine per camp. So nine would actually make a pretty good fort. And so you can use the different colors, but here's one of the things you can do when introing the wind bag. Here I have a bag, but also, too, I have a balloon. How much air do you think it takes to fill up this balloon? Most kids say 10 breaths. Okay, let's count it. That's pretty good. That was about 10, right? Anyway, so we blew it up. We saw it was about 10 breaths. <laughs> now, how much air is it going to take to fill up this bag? Now people say a thousand breaths and things like that, but if you take it like this and you hold on to that, you tie a knot in the one end, tie it tight so no air can get out the other side, then you hand it to a camper, and you hold on to this side over here, and I might have to have camper move back a little bit. <laughs> Set down your juice box. All right, and uh, then you open up the other side, which is normally easy. Aha! All right, so pull it tight, go that way. Now, of course, I have the wind bag, and we think it's going to take a thousand breaths compared to how long it, or how many breaths it takes to fill up the balloon. If I take it like this, hold it like that, make sure they're holding tight on that end, open it like this, and go. You can usually get it to fill up at about one breath. That makes a cool noise, right? So that is your wind bag. So there you go, thank you. And here, so you have the wind bag like this. You take this side, you tie it off like that. And you have this extra part right here, so when you get all your windbags, you can tie those parts together. So you can have a red one and a yellow one, and you make like a pyramid. So you can have three on the bottom, three coming up to make like a pyramid. I call that like uh, the on deck, so you can use that for launching. So whoever's going to be on deck gets in the big triangle. These last about a day. They don't really have uh, longevity. So if you blow up these the first day and you have the kids kind of play with them. Also, they're really good at shooting into the air. So if you hold them like this, you just kind of give it a good hit. They'll fly really high in the air, and uh, those are kind of fun too. So you can have a couple outside just on, during like one of the play times outside where they can just hit them around. Also too, when I'm talking, I might like bump into a kid here or there, just pretend like I didn't notice I was hitting them with a windbag. Anyway, so you can build shelters out of them. Um, also, they do act like rockets when you hit them, and just have fun with it. It's a windbag.